live from Cooper Field at Waller Stadium in beautiful Manhattan Beach, California, it's Mustang Football 2012. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chris Lee, alongside, as always, with Jeremy Sadowski. Oh and we're here to bring you exciting top-notch high school football action this year. Bear goes to Mustangs from Manhattan Beach. Take on Sarah. Of course, uh, Sarah comes into this game fresh off victories over Notre Dame and Long Beach Poly, so they are riding high on this early season here, and the Mustangs are coming off a big win of their own last week, coming in at 1-0 of this young season, and looking to build on that momentum that they started last week. Of course, this has been a little different look to the Mustangs offense as we've seen in recent years past. Of course, uh, Mustangs really going for more of a traditional high back formation or sometimes even a three back formation, really trying to sell that run game to balance out the offensive passing attack. This year, it's been a little bit different. It's been a little bit more of an option attack for the Mustangs and an option attack out of the split back formation Oftentimes, the Mustangs are not going with one true tailback. I'm sorry, one true fullback as much as two tailbacks. Of course, that happens when you have pretty talented tailbacks as the Mustangs do. They have already gotten great play out of the young Brandon Mills, number 27 for the Mustangs. And of course, they can always count on big plays from number 25, Raphael Lawson Gale, as well as number nine, Kerbosh, the big captain, Josh Kerbosh for the Mustangs. They are led at quarterback typically after uh, week one was Ryan Swagger. However, he did get injured in uh, last week's victory for the Mustangs. So taking the helms of this Mustang offense tonight will be number 11, Khalil McLean. Of course, uh, McLean, the senior, is 6'2", 165 pounds, a very athletic young man, very talented, very skilled young man. So it will be very interesting to see what he is able to do with the Mustangs offense running that option attack. Of course, as always, the Mustangs defense is led by something that we've seen quite often, and that is a Tavai. This time, it is Jelani Tavai for the uh, Mustangs, of the 31, the 6-3. Junior tight end defensive lineman is a stalwart for the Mustangs, just like his brothers were. As we see the uh, Mustangs captains out there on the field, of course, tying up that offensive line is number 75, Joey Marcus. Joey, a huge part of the early success of the Mustangs last season, has carried on where he left off after his uh, season injury issues last year. He has definitely picked up that pace and brought the pain to the D-line of the opponents this year. A huge part of that run attack is started from that offensive line. Joey Marcus is a huge part of that. So we see him out there with the Mustangs captains, Josh Kerbosh, as well as the uh, street clothes, Ryan Swigert. Of course, also on defense, expect to see great things for the Mustangs out of, of course, number uh, 50. That is Connor Riley. Connor has really been stepping up his game for the Mustangs this season. Expect to see a lot of good things from him, as well as, of course, number 52, R.J. Coleman. R.J., one of the most physically dominant players in the uh, Bay League for the last few seasons for the Mustangs here at the D-line. Let's see if they can continue that stellar defensive play tonight against one of the better offenses in the general Southern California area. We are just about set to go here as your Mustangs want to know take on Sarah sitting at 2-0 what should be an exciting home contest for Miracosta. The players are pumped and just about ready to take the uh, sideline. Of 
first again, Russell is giving great play at the running back position. Really kind of featuring that option attack. Let's see how a new quarterback for the Mustangs can really stretch out the uh, defense and really finish off the completion of the dominant attack from the option. Of course, that needs to happen from the quarterback position. Khalil McLean is going to take his shot and prove that he is at that time the quarterback. You're just about set. Mustangs look at you crush the Cavaliers. And they are on the field and to the sidelines. And we are just about set. Fans, stay tuned. We are ready to go here on the opening kickoff of your Mustangs taking on Sarah. Mustangs are set for the kick. We're just about ready to start. And we are underway. And the ball is underway. Mustangs start this one off with a touchback. Kick goes through the back of the end zone. Sarah will take over for first and 10 at the 20 yard line. Of course, Sarah in their road whites. Mustangs in their home. Green and gold. Expect a lot of shock information as Sarah opens with it. They open in the air. It is high, wide, and out of bounds. McLean will be taking over the quarterback in units tonight for the Mustangs. On the uh, coverage there that time, good coverage forces the incomplete at second and ten. Sarah on the ground this time, and oh, there he goes. Great play by the Mustangs defense. I brought him up earlier. That is big number 52, R.J. Colby with the monster hit. Third down situation now for Sarah. Third and nine. Shotgun formation. Looks left. He throws middle. It's high, and it is overthrown and intercepted by the Mustang. What a great play. That's the Mustangs, number 25, Raphael Austin Gale. Of course, as we take a look at this one again, first he looked left, but then through his throwing pattern, was in the middle of the field, right where the Mustangs had plenty of coverage. Sears could back had the time, but did not have the space. Rafael Lawson Gale with a great play for the Mustangs team. 